all right guys welcome to the channel man today we're out at one of my favorite new ponds man i've been fishing this pond for the past two videos i'm well, not from the very same two videos but today we're at it um i did my expensive versus cheap combo of fishing it actually was in my last video too so it kind of is back to back but today we got this bait right here that i've actually i have bought before but i haven't caught any fish on it and of course you guys once you guys know this bait you guys didn't see it already but once you guys know this bait man you guys are gonna be like dude why you don't why you have never fished this bait but we got right here the beetle spin and the bumblebee beetle spin i heard that this is the juice but we got this today and then we have another bait if i can get it out of my pocket I'll put this on here too, or I can fish it separately. But we got right here this little crappy jig or crappy uh, bait right here. It's pretty much a little uh, shad invitation. So it's called, a, I think it's by Mowing Glow or whatnot. We're going to put this on the Beetle Spin too if this don't work, or if, you know, just to switch things up in general. Then, as well, you guys know, man, I like throwing the buzz bait out here. But of course, this is not the Google Squad Hummer, the buzz bait that I always throw out here. But um, our Hummer has left us, man. The thing has stopped working. It, it doesn't even float on or work on top of the water anymore. I'm not sure why, but we got a new one coming in along with some newer baits, man. And if that don't go, we got the rest of the tackle in the car. And then even the uh, the butt or the Whopper Popper, the Walmart brand, the Bone Yellow, the Guggen Squad pistol or revolver, I'm in. But let's go ahead and get things started, man. As always, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned to the video. I'll catch you guys on the GoPro. Peace. You guys, I got the buzzbeat tied on. I know it's, I know it's uh only about. I think let's see. Actually, let's check the time. Check the current time. It is currently 4:44. So, uh, was that uh, almost 10 till 5? So, I know it's almost. You know, it's not even near. What will be considered, you know, everyone else's perfect time to throw top water. These fish literally out here do not care, especially in this pond. This pond is like shallow, man. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, this pond is shallow. I'm sure they have some drainage or water drainage problems. I don't know. Maybe they did it on purpose. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I don't. I honestly don't know. We're gonna make one cast. One cast with the buzz bait first. I want to start with that bumblebee uh, beetle spin, but one cast with this first. Just, I just want to see. Just want to see, just want to see. So one cast of that first real quick, just quickly. You know, before we get started with that beetle spin, see if something wants to, you know, go for a quickie already. Nothing, okay, as, as, as expected, you know. But anyways, we're gonna start out with this little bumblebee beetle spin. And then as well, we'll switch up to that mow and glow a little later. Let's see how things go. Whoa, this thing is soft. But yeah, we're gonna fish this bad boy for a little bit see how things go i think this would be a perfect bait out here to get smashed up on the waters you know fairly deep in this pond so i think it'd be something that these fish would tear up on constantly so just a nice slow retrieve i bet you that'll get them smoking so let's see man let's see how long it takes surprise not first cast I just saw something blow up a little. I'm not really rippled and not to see if what that was. So bluegill, bass. What do you guys think, man? I mean, I wonder, is it possible for a carp to hit this thing? It's yellow, almost like a corn. It's small like a corn. So, mm, I just wonder what a carp hit something like this. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Oop, we got hit. We got hit just now. Something was trying to get it. Should have let him have it. I think that's my problem with fishing these little baits like this. We got him now. Got little bass. Little dude. Little. As, as expected for the most part. I knew he was going to do that. Come on, man. All right, little dude. Uh, tank size, man. Look at this big old tank. Put him close to the camera. <laughs> but let's let him go. Future 10 pound over here. Little Jimmy. See ya, buddy. Hey guys, we caught one fish so far. We're going to switch things up to this little mowing glow right here. Got a little tail. See the slightest little action. I mean, at least I got something to be wiggling back and forth. So we're going to get the good old mowing glow cast around 
see how things go with it. Nice little chartreuse. I see some top water. Actually, look at it right there on that slack or gross looking water over there, whatever you want to call it. So we've got the little mongo. So it looks up on there. Perfect. Let's see if we can't get anything. First cast, man. Right over there, too. Let's see. Nice and chartreuse for these fish to key up on. Oh, we got one. Told you guys. Quick, man. Quick. Let's go. Look how he ate it. He wanted to, dude. I mean, he ain't choked it, but he ate it. Cut it out, dude. Cut it out. Let's go, man. Second bass. Was that first cast? Was that first cast? I was like, oh, it's crazy, but I, I honestly can't. I don't know. I think that was first cast. Let's freaking go. I mean, hand and tank, but let's just grab a quick pick real quick. Let's go, man. Don't pick back up the buzz bait. Or, I don't know why I keep going with the buzz bait, but the whopper popper. Since we got blow up on it, right up in that nasty looking water. Just cast that around for a few. See what we can get. It's actually cast back in that spot. I got a blue up in. That wasn't a direct cast, but it's okay. Nothing. They maybe had moved from right there. But let's try it down. Nothing. Oh, I stopped. I stopped. Oh. I freaking suck, bro. I stopped moving it because I was looking at my reel, seeing how dirty it was. And something hits it right, literally right there in front of me, bro. All right, guys. So, I'm going to try that little beetle spin and the moan glow over in this pond, man. We fished that pond for a while now. I haven't caught anything. We have, you know, we'll come back to it a little later in the day, but for right now, we're going to try right here, man. Up in this corner by this tree, everything. So we'll start picking this little area off. Got a little small little structure right there. And right here, when we get around that tree, I usually get it. Ooh, we got something right here. Little bluegill came for the last grab, dude. Let's get it, man. Didn't even... Was actually about to pull a dang bait right on the water. And we caught this guy right here. So, nice little catch. He wanted it. Sure, you guys, him, man. Nice looking dude. See ya, buddy. Thank you for hitting at the last moment, man. Wow. Alright, guys, man. This little. Beavis man, just keeps getting tangled and tangled, so I keep popping off and having to tie on the console. It keeps getting wrapped around on stuff, and I just have to keep tying, popping it off like sticks and stuff. It gets wrapped around. It's getting wrapped around the little uh, blade, or not the blade, but the little uh, whatever this little. Yeah, it's because I guess it would be considered a blade or willow blade, yeah. Colorado bleed, whatever one. But just keep getting tank around. And I'm about tired of it. Look at it now, it's wrapped around the top of my. There you go. Alright, we're gonna try by this stick right here. Nice little shady spot. Should have a fish or two in there. 
Like I said, we're trying not this little bumble, or we turn or throwing around this little bumblebee. We got a fish. He took off, dude. What I was saying was exactly this, man. We're trying not the little bumblebee, so it's a little bit more subtle. It doesn't have that kick, and that might just be what the fish want. Holy crap, that dude took off. I thought he was going to wrap me around or something. I, mean, I don't have much uh, weight on this line. I only got six pound test, I think. And that joker was having fun with it. I know you were going to do that. See ya. Come on, I only got a little bit more to go. Yeah, help you out, buddy. There you go, a little bit more. Come on, a little bit. You're in it now. See ya, thank ya. Dang guys, that was, that was hilarious too. Let's see if anything's close over there. Got him. Got him. Let's go. He missed it the first time. Came back again. Let's get it, man. It's a bigger one, too. Oh, we got to lip you, buddy. You stay still. Ah, oh, that joke could pin me. And I was just about to say, bro, he got some sharp fins, too. Let's go. Oh yeah. We saw a guy pull out a fish that just knocked him over. He couldn't handle it so much. Oh yeah, a carp. Probably was a carp. Let's get it. They want it today. Oh yeah. This little beetle spin I'm using is oh, black yeah. and yellow. It's working. I I guess it's some kind of bluegill. That's yeah, all. That's, I know. Yeah, that's definitely a bluegill. Yeah, in the Midwest, that's what you call them. Gotcha. Yeah, the bluegill, they've been spawning. We've been watching them spawn. Oh, yeah, there are. They're on beds right now, man. And yeah. the bass is munching on them. You've been catching some bass out of here, too? Oh, yeah. Uh, in the other pond, I mostly catch bass in that pond. This is Never. about the first time I'm catching bluegills in this pond. Of course, I'm using a smaller bait, so that's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, good luck. Appreciate it. Guys, man, at this point, it's not even funny, man. How these boogers are tearing up this little bumblebee, man. See you, buddy. That guy missed it the first time, came back, or I let it just sit there. He took crazy, he went crazy, bro. But man, that slow presentation is deadly right now. I literally put it right there. He hit it the first time while I was moving. What was that? Oh, that was all the way out there. But dude said, um, I was about to just call him the whole man. I'll try right here. Up against this little wall slash tree right here. See if there's anything that wants the little bumblebee. Should be something. Hold up right around here. We got the picture because we got this wind, a little slight wind pushing and casting this light of a bait or attempting to. It is no good. I wonder what's right here. More water, of course. Thing in this little deep pool right here. Nope. If I put my bait in there, can I get hit on or something? Honestly. Ooh. 
we got it right here. Bluegill. Let's go. Let's go, man. Right by that tree. Uh, thank you. Right by the tree. I'll let him have it, too. Oh, yeah. This dude got some problem, bro. Look at him. Look at his tail. Right on top of the mouth. That's what you want. Ooh, look at his mouth. Holy crap, dude. You are on a bed for real. You are beat up. That tail was bloody, though. All right, see you, buddy. So we got the Whopper Popper real quick. I'm gonna toss that guy around before we start tossing around the, um, the uh, swim baits. Just want to try a little top water because one, it's still morning. Two, I saw a bass blow up on top of water not too long ago. So, oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. He coming from all over there. All right, he did stop though. Hey, look, gotta want that thing, man. That's two of them just on. And then none. Oh, got one. Oh, he stopped, dude. He stopped and hit this thing. He was already stopped and hit it, bro. That was so dope. That was so dope. Get up here, buddy. Let's go. He was stopped. He was looking at the gas. I passed him. He didn't even think he was going to go for it. And he smoked. Whopper plopper, man. Let's go. This guy was literally sitting right here. Let's pretend he's the rock. And I bring my uh, Whopper plopper right across. And he just snatches this thing, man. So we're going to let him go. Until next time, buddy. See ya. All right, guys. That concludes today's video, man. We were out able to fish the little beetle spin right here. As of right now, we have the little uh, Mo and Glow, little baby shad on there. And then as well, we have the little bumblebee. Um, I, I don't know what you would call this. But I guess it would be a smaller, I don't know. This is probably like a fly or I don't know, shad, baby shad. I don't know. You guys got to let me know. But anyways, man, I enjoyed today's video. I think the bass loved it, the little... Uh, Mo and go the baby shot it had that tail that would be flickering back and forth like that so the bass like that moving and then the bluegill were hitting this uh this little bumblebee right here i did caught one bass in the beginning on the bumblebee but it's a little bit more still it doesn't move it's you know subtle so the uh the bluegills focus on focus on this little um blade right here that's gonna be whopping through the water and then they, they see this bumblebee and they hit that so it's a little bit more probably more natural and subtle for their kind of uh their food um chain or whatnot versus this uh this little moving bait right here i was i think i did catch one bass or one bluegill on the little baby shad but like i said this is a little bit more moving i think that's what i got from today's little session man i hope you guys liked today's video remember to like comment subscribe guys and as always remember to stay tuned to the channel, make sure that bell notification is on, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.